Yes. I'm going to talk to a local bloke who is doing something genuinely bizarre to raise money for a wonderful cause tomorrow, and I'll talk to him soon. It's five past nine at Zinc. The Zinc Morning Zoo, it's Nugget Al and Sammy Power. There's some wonderful causes getting around the place, and people do walks and runs and, you know, hunger strikes and all kinds of things. You know, idiots grow beards even to raise money for good causes. And then there's people out there who go, no, I'm going to do something ridiculous. We're talking to one of those people now. He's a lovely young bloke who we know. His name's Rowan. G'day, Rowan. Good morning, guys. Hello. Well, you do a lot of odd things, but now what? Uh, I'm doing a charity unicycle ride with my family. Now, is the money to help you raise, you'd want to buy a second wheel for your bike, or <laughs> is it for another cause? No, it, it's for a, called, called, a cor- cause called Hope for Himalayan Kids, and um, it's raising funds for kids over in Nepal to get out of the orphans that they're in oh and back God. to their families, and yeah. Are your family all on the one unicycle, or, <laughs> or is there a few? That's our next trick. But, oh, okay. um, it'll be me, my mum, and my dad, and we're riding from Karan to Karoi. Holy God, that's which what is my... a distance of about 20 k's? Yeah, about 20 kilometres, and um, we're having a major stop in Pomona at 10 o'clock, co- coinciding with the market. Nice. And um, we're going to be selling raffle tickets for a unicycle that was donated to us by Unicycle Online. Unicycle.com.au. That's it. And we're going to be raising funds for all the kids. And also, once that's finished up, I'm going to be leaving for Nepal on November the 28th and doing two months of unicycling over there as well. Please tell us you're flying to Nepal. <laughs> <laughs> He's being shot out of a cannon dressed as a clown. <laughs> Mate, that is absolutely that is unbelievable. So tell us about this cause. You've got these kids over there in Nepal in orphanages. What's what's their situation? Well, the problem is that a lot of the kids over there have their families, but they can't support them, so they put them into these orphanages. Oh, my God. How horrific. Yeah, and um, there's a lot of problems with corruption in the orphanages and, you know, a, a million and one terrible things happening. And so we're all about getting them out back to their families, educating them, feeding them, and ending the poverty cycle. Good work, Rowan. That's amazing, mate. You should be should be commended for yeah. that. And we been, won't, but someone should. And you've been training. Well, we know that you unicycle oh, everywhere good, anyway, yeah. so uh, you obviously put a bit more training in those so you can do your 20K cycle. That's it. I, I'm still in my underwear today because it's rest day today. Yeah, that's too much information. <laughs> um, I'm just going to come and... Nothing. <laughs> I'm going to pump up your tyres. Hey, you've got a blog that people can follow all your adventures on. It's Rowan, R-O-H-A-N, hyphen, trek, T-R-E-K, four, the letter four, number, I mean. <laughs> Rowan, trek, four, hope, dot, blogspot, dot, com. Catchy. It, and um, I'll be uploading videos of me unicycling. There'll be pictures. There'll be heaps of information through the whole time away in Nepal as well. Rowan, can you have a second segment on the website where if you have any monster stacks? <laughs> Just because funniest home video style, I guarantee you, there's photos of you and your family coming off unicycles, mate. It will go through the roof. <laughs> well, I'll have a little special gore corner for you guys. <laughs> Thanks, champ. Good on you, mate. So what time are you starting off tomorrow? I'm starting in Karen at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. And, and should... coming in for Mona at 10 o'clock. Yep. Karoi by Thursday. And then, <laughs> and then um, Karoi by midday. Excellent. Well, a good effort, mate. Well done. You should done. see him racing to the airport on the 28th. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you all the very best with that, Rowan, and uh, all, all the hope you raise lots of money and uh, can help the cause over there in Nepal. Oh, thank you very much, guys. You have a wonderful day. Bye. Rowan Flanagan on his unicycle. <laughs> He's a bloody good kid. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Clubs in.